Let's learn all about earthquakes. Hi there, science fans! Have you ever felt the ground move like when a big truck rumbles by? Now imagine that, but way bigger! That's an earthquake! Earthquakes are like Earth's little shakes. They happen all the time, but don't worry, most are too small to feel. But when they're big, they can make the ground move and shake. Whoa! Sometimes, earthquakes make buildings sway. It's like the Earth is doing a little dance. In this article, we're gonna learn all about earthquakes and how to stay safe when the Earth decides to boogie. So, what causes these shaky situations? Earthquakes are fascinating natural events that have intrigued scientists and lay people alike for centuries. But to truly understand what makes the ground shake, we need to delve deep beneath the Earth's surface. It all starts deep inside the Earth. The Earth is made up of several layers, each with its own unique properties. The outermost layer is the crust, which is where we live. Beneath the crust lies the mantle, a thick layer of hot, semi-solid rock. Way down there it's super hot, temperatures can reach up to thousands of degrees causing the rocks to melt and form molten rock also known as magma. So hot that rocks melt and become gooey like melted cheese. This molten rock is constantly in motion due to the intense heat and pressure. This gooey stuff is always moving. The movement of magma creates currents that push and pull on the Earth's crust. It pushes and pulls on the Earth's crust, which is the hard, rocky part we live on. The crust is divided into several large and small pieces called tectonic plates. Imagine pushing on a cracker. It might crack and break. Similarly, when the tectonic plates are pushed and pulled by the moving magma, they can crack and shift. That's kind of what happens with earthquakes. The sudden release of energy from the shifting plates causes the ground to shake. When the gooey stuff pushes too hard, the Earth's crust can crack, and that makes the ground shake. This cracking and shifting can cause significant damage to buildings, roads, and other structures. It's like Earth's way of letting off some steam. Just as steam vents release pressure from a boiling pot, earthquakes release built-up pressure from within the Earth. Understanding these processes helps us better prepare for and respond to these natural events. Now Earth's crust isn't just one big piece, it's broken into giant puzzle pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always on the move, very, very slowly. Sometimes they bump into each other, pull away from each other, or rub against each other. All that pushing and shoving causes stress, and when that stress is released, boom, earthquake. Most earthquakes happen where these plates meet. It's like a giant earth puzzle that's always being put together and taken apart. How strong was that shake? Earthquakes can be both fascinating and terrifying, but have you ever wondered how scientists figure out just how strong an earthquake is? Let's dive into the world of seismology and find out. Scientists have a cool tool to measure how strong an earthquake is. It's called a seismograph. This device is incredibly important because it helps us understand the power and impact of these natural events. This tool is like a super sensitive detector that draws a special line that goes up and down when the earth shakes. Imagine it as a heartbeat monitor but for the ground beneath our feet. The seismograph captures every little tremor and big shake giving scientists a visual representation of the earthquake's activity. The bigger the shake, the higher the line goes. These lines, often called seismic waves, tell a story of the earthquake's journey through the Earth's crust. The more intense the earthquake, the more dramatic the lines appear on the seismograph. This squiggly line helps scientists figure out the earthquake's strength on something called the Richter scale. By analyzing the height and frequency of these lines, scientists can determine the magnitude of the earthquake, which is a measure of its energy release. The Richter scale is like a ruler for earthquakes. Just like a ruler measures length, the Richter scale measures the magnitude of an earthquake. It's a standardized way to compare the sizes of different earthquakes. It uses numbers to tell us how much energy an earthquake released. These numbers can range from very small, barely noticeable tremors to massive quakes that can cause significant damage. The higher the number, the stronger the earthquake. For example, a magnitude 3 earthquake might just rattle some dishes, while a magnitude 7 earthquake can cause buildings to collapse. Understanding these numbers helps us prepare and respond to earthquakes more effectively. Stay safe when the Earth shakes. Earthquakes can happen without any warning and it's important to know what to do to protect yourself and others around you. Earthquakes can be a little scary, but there are things you can do to stay safe. 
Knowing these steps can make a big difference in how you respond during an earthquake. If you feel the ground shaking, remember to drop cover and hold on. This simple technique can help protect you from falling objects and debris. Drop to the ground on your knees. This helps you stay low and reduces the chance of being knocked over. Cover your head and neck with your arms. This protects the most vulnerable parts of your body from falling objects. And hold on to something sturdy, like a table leg. Holding on helps keep you in place and provides additional protection. Stay away from windows. Windows can shatter during an earthquake, and broken glass can cause serious injuries. Broken glass can be dangerous. It's important to move to a safe area away from windows and other glass objects. If you're outside, stay away from buildings and trees. These structures can collapse or drop heavy branches during an earthquake. Remember, it's important to stay calm and listen to your teachers or grown-ups during an earthquake. They have the experience and knowledge to guide you to safety. They'll know how to keep you safe. Practicing these steps regularly can help you feel more prepared and confident in case of an earthquake. Fun facts about our shaky planet. Earthquakes are not just about shaking. They can also create some pretty amazing things. Did you know that the largest earthquake ever recorded was a magnitude 9.5 in Chile in 1960? That's a super duper strong earthquake. Earthquakes can cause giant waves called tsunamis. These waves can travel across entire oceans. Some animals, like dogs and cats, can sense earthquakes before they happen. That's like having a built-in earthquake detector. Earthquakes are a powerful reminder that our planet is always changing and moving. They might seem a little scary, but they're also pretty amazing. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep learning about the incredible world around us. Stay curious, science fans. Thanks for explaining everything. Now I know so much about earthquakes. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun videos.